Hey guys, Amanda got back last night. I went and picked her from the airport. And, uh, yeah, we had an amazing conversation. We talked for a long time, hours and hours. Um, and I realized, or, it was interesting. She had a lot of anxiety off the plane. And we just, I, I felt her anxiety, so I asked her about it. We talked about it. I just wouldn't let myself get angry. No matter what, I wouldn't let myself resort to anger. I would just acknowledge it if I was feeling it. But I wouldn't let myself get angry, and everything changed. Everything changed in my life last night. I realized that what's so interesting about YouTube is this. I think Amanda said this to me. It's like you get this third eye, you get to watch yourself. And when you put it online, there's, you can't deny it anymore because it's more real. You can watch it by yourself in your, in your house and then delete it. And it's like the moment never happened. You know, you suppress it and let it go. But when you put it online, it's real, it's open, it's out there. And you have no choice but to accept who you are. And it's like I'm delving into self-exploration in that way. It's like uh, it's something new. It's something that humanity has never had access to before. I don't know how deep this goes. I just know. I don't know if it goes so deep as transcendence, if we're actually going to transcend our physical bodies and experience life up here. Um, and uh, I, uh, I'm also... Everything's it's been easier to moderate... That was Amanda back there, getting a towel. Things are becoming easier to moderate. I'm not as stressed out about YouTube as I'm still stressed out, but I'm not as stressed out as I was. God, now I'm having a hard time articulating exactly what I wanted to say. I... I feel like the more I watch myself and listen to myself talk, it's as if there's two of me. It's like I'm having a conversation with myself. Literally, literally like there are two of me. And it's a challenge to not hide anything from myself. It's a challenge to make me interested in my own video by expressing myself openly. You know, give me what I want. Um, I'm very interested in, in me now. And yeah, you like how that sounds? I'm not interested in you. I'm not I'm not trying to change you. I don't I'm not I don't want to make you do something. I don't. I don't I wanna inspire. I wanna inspire you. I want you to listen to me. But I don't want to change you. You can do that on your own. I wanna change myself. When I'm speaking in these videos, I, I realize this too. When I say you, you need to do this, you need to do that, I'm talking to myself. I'm just diverting it so it's a little easier to say. It's all me. All this is me. I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to myself. I'm exploring myself. I'm watching my videos. I, I mean, I love watching my videos. They're, in, they're interesting. It's interesting to watch me open up. I've never done that before. This is the ultimate expression of, of egoism. This is self. This is this is identification of self. This is exploration of self, of the ego. Of opening up the mind and allowing the ego to be present in the moment. We've been told all our lives that there's something wrong with being egotistical. There's something wrong with thinking of yourself first. That you're not supposed to do that. And I think that comes from our, I don't know, our giant diversion that we have. Our, our big denial that we live in. Just focus on something else. Focus on someone else. Focus on other people. Focus on other things. Don't focus on yourself. That's what we've been told. And then we're expected to somehow come out okay out of it. And we don't teach kids to talk about their feelings in school. It's not in the classes. I, I, don't, I don't fucking understand this. This has got to change. This has got to change. Got to change. I, I'm going to change this. In my lifetime, I'm going to change this. I want. I mean, if I, if I, if enough people are listening to me, then this will change. And I guess it's just a matter of time before that happens.
We need to teach children how to how to communicate and why not to be afraid. Right now, school is just survival school. We're sending our kids off. We have kids, and when they turn six, we send them off, or five, we send them off to survival school where they learn all the basic tools that they'll need to survive in this society that we've created. We don't teach them how to communicate at all. Maybe in a liberal arts college, you have like speech class or something, or I mean, you do a little bit of that like in late high school when you get in the theater. But kids, I mean, I'm talking like five, six years old. There need to be hour-long classes about opening up. Why are we so afraid of that as a human race? Because it's unknown, because it's painful, but it's, that's love. I mean, it's love. There's no denying that. That's love, opening up to someone, opening up in general. It's self-love. It's love. It's the only love there is. It's not an infatuation. It's not taking care of someone. It's not buying someone dinner. That's not love. Love is being real. Love is letting down the walls and... And people don't know people don't know how to do it. It's not that people don't want to do it, it's that people don't know how to do it. People aren't comfortable doing it because they haven't done it. We haven't done it. We're doing it now, but I mean still, you know, you can't think of yourself as I can't think of myself as someone that's ahead of anyone else. I mean we're all experiencing the same thing right now. And I'm learning how to do it because no one told me. So I'm doing it myself with video. And now, the beautiful thing is, now that with the internet, it's not, I'm not just doing it with myself. Now, it's all of us doing it together, which is why the, uh, I think why the, <sighs> fuck's the word, not the turnout, but why the uh, result is so fucking amazing. I wanted to just uh, make a quick, well, a uh, somewhat quick video about what I've been feeling recently. I'm letting go of the anger. Gina, I haven't watched the second video response you did yet, but listen, I watched that video that I made back to you, and I'm an asshole. I'm an angry person, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did that, that I got angry, that I allowed myself to do that, to tap into that, to communicate with you, because I think of you as a friend, and I don't want us to have... I don't want the hostility that I was feeling to be there anymore. So I'm just going to be open about it. I was hostile because I'm, I'm nervous about anger and violence. It makes me nervous. I know that fighting it with anger and violence isn't the key to making it stop. I've seen that happen. I've seen that's the, the thing that's gone, existed throughout humanity. You know, you can't get angry at people that are getting angry at you or nothing will change. I think that if we embrace the people that are angry, that things start to change. And that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Um, I'll see you. I'll see you later, guys. Gina, I'm. I'm sorry about the anger. Although, at the time, I didn't realize what was happening. And not until I watched it on video. This wonderful technology, I was able to see it and think, like God, I'm like. I was just closed off to you. There's no need for that. Not anymore. Now, not, now that I'm aware, there's not. I'll see you later.